So you want to start a YouTube channel? Well, you're in luck because I'm about to give you a true beginner's guide to starting a YouTube channel and not just starting it, being successful with it and getting your first 1000 subscribers really fast. This is not fluff. This is literally how you're going to do it. Okay. Howdy, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? My name is Jessica Stansberry and I am pumped that you are here. I feel like I have done several like how to start a YouTube channel videos in my career here on YouTube, but I don't know that I've ever really like stepped way back and been like, okay, if you are just brand new, if you are just beginning, here's how to start a YouTube channel successfully and also not just start, but grow. So that's what this video is about today. And it couldn't come at a better time than at the end of the year when there's a lot of people probably out there like, oh my gosh, I wanna start a YouTube channel. I've been putting it off, I'm ready to do it. So let's go. All right, first and foremost, you actually have to start the channel. Like you actually have to create a channel. If you've already done this part, just skip to you know number two. But to do that, all you have to do is go to youtube.com and have a Gmail address and start a channel. There's literally like a button that's like start a YouTube channel. It's not that hard. After that, you'll want to pick a name for it, put up a profile photo, add a cover photo, and you're pretty well ready to start putting videos on the internet. Now, obviously there's some settings you'll want to do. You'll want to change your about information and maybe put some social links, but everything is kind of made easy because YouTube once you start that channel, we'll walk you through all of it. So starting the actual channel is not hard. If you're struggling with naming your channel, just name it something. You can always change it later. I think that's what people get hung up on is like, what should I name my channel? Should it be my name? Should it be a business name? Should it be a different name? Like what should it be? And of course, like, if your business has a name, make it be that. If you want it to be branded under you, make it be that. But don't get hung up here. Like you can change it later. It is no big deal. I have changed my uh, channel name from Hey Jessica to Jessica Sansbury a thousand times at this point. So I promise you, you can change it later. Once you are verified, which is when you hit 100,000 subscribers, it's a little bit harder to kind of change that name because you have to re-verify yourself every time. Um, but you could still change it even after that. So don't worry about what you're naming it. Don't worry. Don't get stuck in the weeds there. Just get it started. Next thing is actually filming these videos. And the biggest piece of advice I have for you here is to just start with what you already have. Start with the phone you have in your pocket. If you have another camera, use it. Use whatever you have at your disposal. Now, what I will say is sometimes people think that like, the bigger the camera, the better. And for video, that's not necessarily the truth. When I first got started, I was filming on my iPhone and on an old iPhone, like one that did not have good video quality at all. But I was filming on my iPhone and then I was seeing creators talk about filming on DSLRs. Well, I had a DSLR. So in my head, I was like, well, that's what I should film on. But my DSLR was not made for video. So if you go back and watch those videos, they're blurry, they're out of focus. Um, I had to use a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle to be my stand-in while I focused the camera, and that still didn't work 99% of the time because my big fancy camera wasn't made for video. So don't think that like the bigger the camera, the more expensive the camera, the better, because that's not always true. Start with what you have. Start with the window you have in your home, start with the phone you have in your pocket, and get started in that way. As you grow, then you can upgrade. Then you can invest a little money Upgrade to a different microphone, upgrade to a different camera, get some lights if you need them. But for now, just get started with what you have. Don't let that stop you. Okay, so the third thing you need to know if you're starting a YouTube channel is that you do need a niche. You need a niche, you need to fit somewhere, you need YouTube to understand who wants to see your content. And in order for that to happen, you need to create content in a way where it knows who you're trying to reach and what you're trying to reach them about. So you really do need a niche. Now, that being said, I think as a brand new YouTuber, you can have you know several weeks, if not several months, 
at your disposal to kind of throw spaghetti at the wall and see what niche you really want to fit in and what niche maybe YouTube is going to show you in. So you may not need this out of the gate, but you kind of need a good idea of the niche you want to fit into so that you can kind of explore within that niche and then niche down even further. Because once you niche down further, that's when you're going to grow. That's when YouTube's gonna say, oh, all of their videos are about video editing. Oh, all of their videos are about cleaning. Oh, all of their videos are about gaming. And they're going to put you in that niche and show you to people who like other videos in that niche. So you really do need to pick a niche relatively quickly but use those first several videos to see if you can figure out where that niche needs to fall without just picking something out of thin air. Next thing next, and most people are not gonna tell you this, but it's important, okay? You need to do research on the creators in the niche you wanna be on. Now, I do not mean to copy them, I do not mean to try and be like them. Actually, quite the opposite. You need to do research on them and see you know, how long they've been on the platform. What kind of videos are their best performing videos? What makes them different than the other person? And see how you can use all of that research to understand how you can be different and how you can show up in your niche without you know, copying everybody. And also understand where you can show up in the niche and make sure that you're doing videos that people want to watch. So for instance, if you wanna be in the tech niche, you wanna be a tech YouTuber, and you notice that every single fall when Apple does their events, that you know these 10 tech tubers that you are researching all do videos about the Apple iMac or the this or like whatever comes out, right? And those are some of their best performing videos, then you probably wanna make sure you do the same thing. Now, can you do it the same as them? Like maybe they're getting sent brand new free iMacs to do these videos. No, but you can absolutely do videos about the tech, about the commercials, about the uh, features and the specs and the event, right? So understand where your niche is and like where people fall within that niche and where you can maybe fill a hole and where you can tap into things you know are going to be successful That is what this research is for. It's not so you can copy them. It's not so you can be just like them. It's not any of that. It's literally for you to say, okay, well, they do it this way. I think I need to do it that way. And, oh, well, they're doing these things that are pretty successful for them. So let me try and do something similar because we're in the same niche. If it works for them, it's probably going to work for me. Okay, I'm about to give you a secret. (laughs) I'm about to tell you a secret. Consistency is the key to success on YouTube, okay? If you, you know, you're person A and person B over here, you guys start at the same time, you're in the same niche, you basically have the same content, you have the same equipment, all of it. The person who's going to come out on top is the person who's going to actually be in the game, who's gonna stick with the game, and who's going to be consistent. So consistency wins the game every time. There's a quote that I've heard before that is literally, consistency breeds legitimacy, and that could not be more true here on YouTube. So as you're starting your YouTube channel, what I really want you to do is come up with a consistent schedule for filming, for editing, and for posting. Because if you don't schedule it, if you don't make a way to make time, if you don't find a way to make time, you won't do it. If you're just like, oh, I'll film all willy nilly, like, oh, well, I just woke up today and wanted to film, or, you know, that's that's like your plan, that's your strategy, then you're gonna wake up several days in a row and not wanna film, and you're going to be screwed and not have a video for next week, right? Or if you film and then you don't have a strategy on when you're gonna sit down and edit, then same thing. You're gonna be like, oh crap, I never got any of the videos I filmed edited. And if you don't consistently have a posting schedule, then your viewers don't know when to come back. They don't know when you're going to release new episodes. It's kind of like your favorite TV show. Like, okay, so I love Yellowstone. We're loving it. It's in, it's in like a season right now, season four, season five. I don't know, but we stay tuned every Sunday night at 8 PM for Yellowstone. Yes, we do because we love it. Right? If the makers of Yellowstone were like, oh, 
we're going to get you hooked on this show, right? Like we here, you're going to love it. Here's a bunch of episodes and you love it. And then they're like, we don't know when another episode's coming out. Just, you're just going to have to stay tuned. You would lose interest in the show as much as you loved it. And you would move on to another show that's more consistent. And the same thing goes for your channel. So understand that you should have a consistent schedule when it comes to filming, editing, and posting. All right, we're going to round this out. We're coming down the downhill slope. We're nearly at the bottom. You need to create a launch plan. This is another mistake I see new YouTubers making, and that is just like putting videos out and hoping they do good, you know, and rarely if ever is that the case. If you will actually sit down before you start your channel, you're ready, everything's done, and you create a launch plan, you're going to see way more success than somebody who doesn't do that. If you don't have an audience at all, like if you, there is nobody following you anywhere on the internet, there is absolutely nobody who's going to watch this, then a launch plan is probably not as important. But at the very least, your launch plan can be tell mom and dad to subscribe, you know, like that at the very least, that could be it. But if you do have followers elsewhere, maybe you are in a Facebook group with a bunch of people who would love to see your videos, or you have an Instagram following, or an email list, or you had a previous YouTube channel, right? Then you can make sure that in your launch plan, it involves getting those people excited and getting them to come over to the platform. Because once they're there, and once they're watching the videos, and once they're subscribing, all that's doing is helping YouTube see that people actually like your content, which will make it be shown to more people. And that's the whole goal anyway. So instead of just like, oh, I started today because I can, come up with a launch plan to make it like a big deal. Even if it's just a big deal to your friends and family, make it a big deal so that people want to flock to the platform on the day of your launch or the week of your launch or whatever. and understand that like they're supporting you in some way. Okay, I've given you pretty much all of the Lincoln logs. Okay, you're gonna actually start the channel like technically like go in with a Gmail address and start it. You're going to start with what you have. Don't worry about your gear. Start with what you've got. You're gonna find a niche to operate within. You're gonna do some research on other creators so you can see how you can be different and what content maybe you should kind of come out of the gate with. You're going to have a consistent schedule. You know when you're going to film, edit, post. You have a launch plan. Y'all, all that's left then is to just do it. And my last and final tip is to go balls to the wall when you do. <laughs> like, I know that that's a little like crass, if you will, but go balls to the wall when you do it. Be consistent. Do giveaways if you have an existing audience to get people to come over and subscribe. Do collaborations if you know other people in the YouTube space. And if you don't, that's okay. This is just one of the things you can do, right? Splash those YouTube videos on every single social platform that you have and make everybody you know share them. Like, if they love you, they'll share these videos. Go balls to the wall. You have all the tools. Like, you have all the steps. You have the instructions. Now all you have to do is actually do them and at the end, go balls to the wall. Like don't be timid about it. This is your thing. You're starting a channel, do it. Like actually do it, actually commit, actually be excited. Do giveaways, collaborations, like make this something big. If you will do that, it's going to do a lot of things. It's gonna show YouTube that, oh, people must really like this creator. Even if they're brand new, let's show them to more people. It's also going to you know, invigorate you, like it's gonna excite you. It's gonna make you wanna create more content. It's going to get the people who you send over to the channel really excited, even if that's mom, dad, and grandma. You know, like that is okay. But what I don't want you to do is literally have all the tools. You need nothing else. You need something to film on. You need to actually have a channel. You need to be consistent. You need to have a niche and you need nothing else. You need to then just do it. You might need to know how to edit, but that's pretty easy. You can teach yourself that with YouTube videos. You can learn iMovie. You can get things for free. This does not have to be a complicated process. I don't want you to watch this video and walk away and continue to not start this channel that I know you want to start or you wouldn't be watching this video, you know? So make yourself a plan. Make yourself a plan, okay? So you've learned everything you need to learn. Make yourself a plan. Are you going to start next week? Are you going to start in a month? 
Are you going to go ahead and start filming and you're going to launch in a month? Are you going to, you know, start doing live videos next week? Like go ahead and make a plan because if you don't plan for it, you're going to keep putting it off and you literally have everything you need to get started. You do, you have it in your pocket right now. And if you will follow everything I said, if you'll be consistent, if you'll go balls to the wall, if you will find a niche to operate within and you will do research on that niche and the creators already within it, you will get to that 1000 subscriber mark way faster than the people who don't do that. Okay. All right. So if you're watching this when it goes live, happy new year, basically, we've just got like a day or two left in this year, which is exciting. If starting a YouTube channel is on your 2022 resolution list, then again, you have everything you need. Get it started, put it on the calendar, get ready, do it. You've got this, I promise. Oh, and if you need just a little bit of help along the way, I have something called the YouTube Starter Toolkit. I should have mentioned this in the beginning, um, but it's linked in the description and it's a super low cost bundle of things that you can get that are gonna help you learn all of the basics as far as like how to actually like upload your cover art and what size it should be and all of that good jazz. So I will link it below in the description if you wanna grab that. But until next time, bye y'all.